The Opal 6 IoT Development Kit has many features designed to get you started on your i.mx6 design right away. These include Ethernet, PCIe, I.O., cameras and of course many display options. In this short video we will take a look at how easy it is to get started with FlexCAN. The i.mx6 has two FlexCAN controllers and these are connected to Freescale CAN FIs on the development kit. The pushwire connectors make it quick and easy to connect your CAN devices. There are also termination resistors on the dev kit which you can enable through these dip switches. FlexCAN is fully supported in both Linux and Windows Embedded Compact. Let's take a look at a demo so you can see how quick it is to get up and running. In this demo we have two applications running in Windows Embedded Compact 2013. The first will monitor user button 1 and send the status over CAN channel 1. The second will monitor CAN channel 2 and update an LED based on messages it receives. We will physically connect the two CAN channels. Let's take a look at the transmit application code. The first thing we do is initialize the CAN driver and set the bitrate. Next we do some GPIO setup for the button. We cover how to use the GPIO in another video. The main part of the application has the transmit code and this sends 10 messages every second. To send a message we use a CAN frame structure and set several fields including the button status in the message data field. The message is then sent with the flex can write frame function. Switching to the receive application, we see that it has the same setup code for the CAN and GPIO drivers. It also creates a thread to process the messages received. In the receive thread we call flex can read frame, which returns when a message is received. We then set the LED value based on the data in the message. In Linux, the Socket CAN API is an easy way to achieve the same result. Thanks for watching. To find out more about Opal 6 and to talk to us about using it for your new product development, visit device.solutions/opal6.